You know, we talk about the program as being a spiritual program. What does that mean? No, we are told it's not a religious program, it's a spiritual program. What is a spiritual program? I think that the human being is a physical, physically an animal body. What makes us human is not our intelligence. Animals are intelligent. What makes us human and unique are a number of traits that animals do not have. And that's what makes us human beings. For example, animals cannot choose. Do you realize that, that animals have no choice? They are driven to whatever attracts them and they cannot think, is it right or wrong? We have a choice. We may be attracted to do something, and we may decide not to do it. We can choose right from wrong. That's uniquely human. We have the ability to delay gratification. We may want something and think, no, not now's, the, now's the, not the right time for it. Animals cannot do that. We have the ability to forgive. Animals cannot forgive. We have the ability to think about a purpose and goal in life. What do I want to do with my life? Animals can't do that. They are driven by their instincts and they don't think about what their purpose and goal in life. You know, I was on a safari several times and I noticed the animals there. I am sure that not one of them are wondering, what am I doing in this jungle? And why am I here? And what am I supposed to be doing? We have the ability to think about a goal and purpose in life. So let me get back to kind of things that are unique to mankind. We can make a choice. We can decide right from wrong, which animals cannot do. We can delay gratification to a more appropriate time. We can forgive. That is so terribly important. We can have a perspective. And the perspective means, what do we want to do with our lives? You know, thank God I'm 88, and most of my life is behind me. Sure, I have some regrets about things that I could have done differently, but I'm not unhappy about my life. because my life has a purpose. Animals are not free. We have the ability to be free and how foolish it is to give it up, to surrender that ability to alcohol, to drugs, to food, to lust, to money, to the desire for praise. All of these kinds of things are animalistic traits. And we can overcome them, and we can be proud as, as a true human beings. Not simply intellectual animals, because that's what the science tells us. Science tells us that a human being is a Homo sapiens, what does that mean? Well, in plain English, Homo sapiens is a chimpanzee, a gorilla with intellect. No, we're not that. Uh, yes, we have intelligence, but we know we have the ability to think what to do with our intellect. 
And if we read the stories of our great people and how they lived their lives uh, and how they were able to set aside their own drives for the welfare of others, we have the real meaning is of what it means to be a human being, not just a uh, homo sapiens.